hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to insert the data so as we saw in previous video we have created the controller models and fetch the data in this okay our crud of codeigniter so now guys we will be inserting the data so let's get started with this as simple we are on the employer and now let's move to our vs code editor and then over here this is our heading so let me add one button to insert so let's create one button called with the a tag as add employee and over here we'll give a class button button primary where button float right okay and let's create one echo where you will create base underscore url for add or you can tell employee hyphen add okay so let's copy this and create that into a route so before creating route let me just refresh and show you the data so you can see over here okay it's bootstrap 5 i think so let's make it to end let's refresh you can see that okay so let's click on this you can find a url called employee add so let's create a route for it go to routes and now let's create one route with the get method dollar routs routes where get function where inside this i am going to pass this path and then go to your controller so in previous video only we created the controller so let's copy and paste over here and tell this create page okay so let's create a function with the name create in your employee controller so let's move over there and create a function public function where method name will be create and inside this you are going to view the page so return view oops let's tell over here employee forward slash create dot php file so let's copy this and go to employee folder this is our views folder inside views we have created employee and inside this will create a file called create.php hit enter and your page is created now so let's design this file and start inserting the data so before that i'll just show you some output of it okay so this same design we are going to use just instead of table the form will be there so let's move on and copy that form so this is my index page let me just move over here index page let's minimize this table and copy all the things required into it paste let's copy and paste let me just minimize this sidebar let's make it to back danger and this will be employee only over here employee add employee done let's view this page refresh you can see the output cool so let's click this back you can see employee let's add employee done so let me just remove this question mark and let's create a simple form so how what forms you are going to create the table required design so we have this many columns in our database so these columns only we are going to create like first name last name phone email and designation so this five fields we are going to create with that so let's get back and start creating with that okay so row where i am going to start with the column md6 over here and now let me form group f o r m hyphen g r o p group and here label will be there and let's give this label for called first name input dot form control this will be for your first name so let's give name attribute where it will be 
first underscore name and placeholder placeholder is equal to first name enter first name save it and let's see the output refresh okay you can find that right so let me just design all the required fields till that so guys now i have designed let me just paste that done as simple you can see the same name which i have created for first name then last name with the name attribute called last name email phone and designation with one simple button that is called submit okay and then let me just refresh and show you the output so let's refresh our form is ready now so let's start the code for inserting the data into our database okay so let's begin with that done and now uh, this is our form where this row starts over here so from this row before and row ending at that place we are going to create a form and this form action over here and let's cut this and paste below to it and over here we have to include like method will be post 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 and over here your action will be is equal to where open code base underscore url where you are going to send the data so what data you are going to send is employee save okay so let's copy this and go back to our route so instead of save let's give store okay so this will be better nice to remember so let's copy this and move to your routes and let's create a route for it so dollar routes routes where with the post method we are going to send okay so inside this post method first we have to declare the route and then call your controller so let's call the controller inside single quotes we are going to call the controller at store function okay so let's create a store method into your employee controller let's go back over here public function where store fun method and over here you are going to type all the data so first where we are going to store into our employee model so make sure you have created so let's call this model over here let's call create a variable called employee and where new you will tell employee controller i mean model okay so this employee model name same name this name we have to call over here and use that at top once done let's create variable called data and inside that you are going to store the datas whatever you are getting from the input so let me just give first underscore name so why this is we are taking this is for to store in data so this first name last name that we are calling over here so what data you are going to pass over here is nothing but dollar this request of your getting the help of post method okay post post method so what data you are getting that so let me just tell you over here in create.php you are getting this first name let's copy that and send over here as simple let me just remove this semicolon because with that it will show error let's paste for everything and let's change this to last name okay and then give the same because we have already given the same names for this you can see that so email phone and designation so let's copy this and create for this three which will be email and phone and one designation so let me just replace with that over here designation and then the same for this also email column and phone column done so these are the few details we want to insert into our database so now guys let's use the save function so let's call this employee variable over here and call the save function and inside this save function you are going to pass this dollar data so let's copy this dollar data and send over here as simple and after saving let's return and uh, redirect so let's tell oops let me just redirect function 
to where I want to redirect redirect let's uh, oops redirect to and after redirecting where with this function I want to send a message okay so first let's type that base underscore URL I want to redirect back to where so employee page over here so let's go back where this page so this page should be shown so let's copy this URL and paste over here and with means we are going to set one status with the help of with function so with function on works on sessions okay so where you will tell employee added employee add -E added successfully okay save this and now guys let us store and see so before storing this let's create this status to check the message so let's go to employee url so which will land on index page so let's one to view the message so guys i have already coded so let me just paste with that as simple there is nothing much in this where you can see the session is set when it is set the time it will get if it is set means we are going to echo in h4 tag where i am showing the status so this status will work on with this with status so let me save and refresh the page okay cool and now let's add the data so let us test with that so right now you can see only two datas are there so let me add one more data called arun kumar where arun at gmail.com and phone number some digit and over here we'll tell business b-i-s-e-n-s business man okay let me click on save so you can see that you have got the data and you have fetched the record okay designation did not insert over here so let's just refresh in your browser also and see that really it is not inserted why it's not inserted so let's check that okay so input tag we have to check first this is correct spelling okay our column name so let's check this input tag it's given perfect or not so let's paste that over here it's the same okay so it is not getting allowed why so let me just check in the model table over here okay so here is a spelling mistake so guys make sure you are not giving any spelling mistake if you give spelling mistake it will not save the data so which means allowed fields only will save it here so make sure you are giving correct spelling and let's get back and let's add one more data to see that it's working fine so we can tell mahesh kumar where mahesh at gmail.com where phone number and tell bca employee let's click on save so let's saved and you can see that data is added perfectly so let's browse over here okay cool so this is how we are saving all the data so let me just add over here simply that's businessman because we missed that right so for that sake didn't save so guys we have successfully inserted the data and saw that message also and in this video uh, that's it guys and let's continue next video about how to edit and update the data so thank you for watching this video once again